In this video, I'll show you how to factory reset your iPhone 16, 16 Pro and Pro Max. This is very useful in case you want to resell your phone or if you're experiencing problems with it. So let's say the screen is freezing, an app is not working while it's supposed to, you have updated your phone and nothing is working well, factory resetting it is a good solution. So the first thing before even starting, I suggest you back up everything you want to keep. So if you took pictures with your iPhone and you don't want to lose them, back them up on a USB drive, in your iCloud, Google Drive, whatever. Just do this before starting anything I'll show you next because everything on your iPhone will be lost forever. Go into the settings when you're ready. Go down until you see general. From general, you're going to go down in this menu until you see over here transfer or reset iPhone. And from here, you're going to select the last option, which is erase all content and settings. It will show you what will be deleted, which is absolutely everything. So if somebody else will use this iPhone, um, that person will not have access to any of the data that was there before. If you're OK with this, press continue that everything will be erased. And finally, you're going to confirm by clicking Erase iPhone. Once you do this, you cannot go back. So make sure this is absolutely what you want to do. You'll have to enter the passcode of your iPhone. And once this is done, the iPhone will do its job. Just set your phone aside and come back in a few minutes. OK, do not touch anything. You've done everything that has to be done. It took about two, three minutes. And here we go. We have the setup screen, the one that you see when you get your iPhone brand new. So everything has been erased and reset it. And you're ready to pair it again with a new Apple account and simply go through the setup as you're supposed to. And if you don't know how to go through the different settings, of the setup while well, I've made a video that I will stick right now. So let's see what you need to do now. So the first time you power on your screen, you're going to see this thing once you unlock the screen, which means that you need to select the language of your phone. For this example, I'll select English. And then you have to select the region that you're in. Mine over here is Canada, so I will select Canada, but the list is very long. So go ahead, select your country. From there, you're going to select the appearance that you like the iPhone to have. You have by default, and I suggest you keep it there, but you also have medium, which makes everything, the icons, the text, everything bigger and also large. If you have trouble seeing usually what's on your phone, this could be a good option, but I don't think many people will use it. Most people will just keep it to default because it's big enough for a normal eye. All right. Once you have selected, press the continue button. Now we have quick start. This means that if you have previously used another iPhone or if you have an iPad that is already set up with your Apple account, you can bring it closer uh, to this phone and your account will be transferred to your new iPhone. This is great because it can save you a lot of time, but many people will not choose that and prefer setting their new iPhone fresh from the beginning. So this is what I will do now, but I'll probably make a video showing you how this works. So if you don't have any iPhone or iPad around that you want to copy um, the account over this new one, click on Setup without another device. Now it's time to choose your Wi-Fi network from this list. So click on it and type the password, then press Join. Wait a few seconds. And now we just have to wait. All right. It took us about 40 seconds. And after that, it has recognized that there is a software update pending. So go ahead and click on update now if there is one. Agree and wait. There's a good chance that if your iPhone is brand new, there is definitely a software update available that wasn't installed from the factory. Now we just have to set the iPhone aside and we'll come back when this is done. All right. In my case, it took about 20 something minutes. 
And here we go. Once you have updated your phone, it should look like this. And it will ask you again these things, unfortunately. Continue. You have two options. If this iPhone will be the iPhone of a 12 year old or younger, you should select setup for a child in my family. If it's for yourself, you're an adult, you're more than 12 year old, go ahead and select setup for myself. Now it will ask you to set up Face ID. Face ID will unlock your phone. You'll be able to use Apple Pay and many other things simply by looking in the camera over there. If you want this feature, go ahead and press continue to set up this. Now you just have to uh, point the camera towards your face, get started. This is me and simply position your face in the middle and do a circle like this. You see all these green bars should fill up once you do a perfect circle. And uh, this is it, your face will be registered. If you're gonna use a mask, click here, use face ID with a mask. I don't plan to do that, so I'll select don't use face ID with a mask. Press continue. Create a passcode for this iPhone. This is up to you. You're gonna have multiple options. You can click passcode options here. Oops. And you have a few different options if you prefer those ones. This passcode is if Face ID does not work, you're gonna have a backup so you can still be able to access your uh, phone simply by entering this passcode. So I'll, get, I'll go ahead and create one. Then you'll have to retype it. If you want to transfer apps and data from your iCloud account or from another iPhone, but also with an Android phone. So if you had an Android phone and you want to transfer, let's say pictures or even apps, stuff like that, you'll click on Android here. You can do this with almost all devices um, that are out there. If you don't want, and if you want to start fresh with this iPhone, don't have your old pictures on it, your old apps, simply start from the beginning. And I like doing this personally. You're gonna select don't transfer anything. Now it's time to log into your Apple account. You're not obligated to do that. Unfortunately, if you do not log into your Apple account, you won't be able to download any apps. You won't have access to your iCloud, obviously, and other features. So the iPhone will be very, very limited since you won't be able to download you know, any apps. And that's the point of having an iPhone is having a bunch of apps, right? So go ahead and log into your Apple account. If you don't have one, don't worry if it's the first time you're having an Apple device gonna click on forgot password or don't have an account and you'll be able to create one quite quickly. You just need to have a phone number associated with this um, account. Now I'll type the password of my Apple account. All right, I tapped the password of my account. I'll press continue. It may ask you for a code, a verification code, and you need to check uh, your other devices, other Apple devices, iPhone, Mac, whatever. You'll get a code right away. I have it right here on my iPhone. I won't show you, obviously. I'll press allow. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing on the screen. And now I'm seeing a code that I need to type here. And I'll do it right now. Once the code is entered, just have to wait. It will recognize your Apple ID and it will sign in so you have access to it. Just be patient. Here it will just tell you what you want to do. It's just like to confirm. So apps and data, don't transfer anything. All right, this is what I want. Settings, series, screen time and more. Well, we can leave it like this. And wallet, if you have any credit cards on, let's say, another iPhone that you used or maybe your iPad and your Apple outlet, uh, Apple wallet, sorry, well, you're going to see them here. If you want this to be transferred, well, leave it like this. Right now, there is one, so I'll leave it there. But if you don't want, click on wallet and you'll be able to uncheck this. Then press continue. If you had a credit card, like I just said, it will ask you to input the three last digit of this credit card simply to confirm. 
If you don't have this credit card anymore and you're stuck over here, what you need to do is to simply click on add this card later. You're not obligated to do it at this point. Press on share with Apple. If you want to share your iPhone analytics, this helps them see if there are some bugs, um, if some stuff are not working, if they can improve. This is mostly for that. If you don't want to share some apps information or how to you use your iPhone with Apple, click on don't share, then press continue. Now you have an action button on this iPhone. The action button is right over here, you see? Before that, you used to have a switch for silent mode on and off. Now it's just a button that can be customized and you can customize it at this step. So over here, we're gonna click customize. By default is silent mode. So if you press on it, it will go silent. If you press again on it, it will, well, cancel the silent mode. But you can have multiple options, camera, flashlight, voice, memo, and many, many others. You also have shortcuts here that you'll be able to set for, let's say, open a specific app or many different things. But just for the purpose of this video, I don't want to take it too long. I'll set it to flashlight because this is something I'm using every day. Press continue. Now it will tell you about camera control, which is this button right on the right side, lower. This is camera control. It's a button that you can fully press half press and also slide your finger over it. It has multiple options. Click continue. And now we have improve Siri and dictation. This again is for Apple to improve their Siri by uh, keeping your voice and analyzing it and trying to again improve on, on the system. If you don't want to help Apple improve Siri, press on not now. Then press OK. I mean, continue here. swipe and here we go this is your new iphone 16. you're now able to download apps simply by going in the app store here and do all your usual phone stuff i hope this was useful if so please leave a like type a comment down below on how i can improve these videos or maybe it was useful for you just just type something and i'll see you in the next one thanks and have a very nice day